Well, hello there. My name is Miss Vicki, and I will be your storyteller. Oh, there's so many wonderful stories to tell. Some of the stories that I tell you will make you crack up laughing. Some of the stories that I tell will make you think. And some of the stories that I tell will make you want to pray. But all of the stories that I tell will always be from my heart. Are you ready? Well, let's get started then. I am so happy that you came to my YouTube channel today. The story that I have to tell you today is about Anansi the spider. But you will hear a cricket in the background. The cricket is not supposed to be in my story today but he invited himself into my story. So it's not Anansi the Cricket, it's Anansi the Spider, but he wanted to be a part of this story. So here we go. Way back in Ghana was Anansi the Spider and he lived there with his wife. Well, one day they were getting ready for grandma's birthday party. So Anansi's wife cooked a delicious pot of beans. Now, I don't know if you guys like beans, but Miss Vicky loves beans. I like all kinds of beans. Brown beans and white beans and pork and beans. I just love beans. So they were making a pot of beans. Now, Anansi's wife tasted the beans and she said, hmm, something's missing. I need more pepper. So she loved for more pepper. And inside her cabin, she saw sea salt and seasoning salt and garlic salt and sage and parsley and, but no pepper. Oh, I will have to go and get some pepper, she said. So she called to her husband, Anansi. Oh, Anansi. Yes, dear. I need to go to the store and get some pepper for my beans. Will you please watch them while I am gone? Oh, yes, dear. Anansi, I don't like the way you said yes, dear. That sounds to me like you're going to try to get into some mischief. While I am gone, watch the beans, Anansi. But please, do not taste. Do not eat the beans. Okay, said Anansi. So, while she was away, Anansi got ready for the party. So there were all of these different colored things for him to decorate with. He picked one up and he blew into it. What do you think that was? Did you say balloon? Absolutely. He blew up all of these balloons. He had red balloons and yellow and orange and purple and pink. What's your favorite color? Well, whatever your favorite color is, I bet you he had a balloon that was your favorite color because he had all of the colors in the rainbow and he put them all over the house to make it nice and decorated for the birthday. Next, he put streamers all over the house. Then he set the table. He put a beautiful tablecloth and forks and spoons and knives and napkins all of the decorations for the house. Well, after he did all of that work, Anansi started to rub his belly because he started to feel a little bit hungry. You're right. He was hungry from doing all of that work. About that time, mm, he could smell the aroma from those beans cooking. Well, my wife told me to check on the beans, so I'm gonna go and check on the beans. Well, when he went to see the beans, he stirred the beans. He smelled the beans. And then he said, I'm going to have just a little taste. So he tasted the beans Mm, 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 mm. These beans 
these are good, good, real good. Now remember what his wife said? She told him to do what? To watch the beans, but not to taste the beans. And you know how a nuncy is. Do you think just one taste was enough for him? No. Anunce wanted more. So Anunce went back into the kitchen and what do you think he did? Help me say it. He stirred the beans and then what do you think he did next? Yes, he Smell the beans. And then, boys and girls, you know what he did. He tasted the beans. And when he tasted the beans, what do you think he said? He said, Dance. The bean shaking dance. 
The big chicken dance. So grandma said, oh, that looks fun. I want to do it too. I'm going to do the big chicken dance. The big chicken dance. Then his wife said, you two look so silly, but <laughs> I may as well join you. So the wife started doing the big chicken dance. The big chicken dance. And before you know it, it got hotter and hotter and hotter. And a Nazi couldn't take it anymore, so he took the hat off, and all the beans started just sliding down his face, sliding down his neck, and sliding down his ear. The grandma saw the beans sliding down his head, and she started cracking up laughing. She said, <laughs> wife was so angry. What have you done, Anansi, she said. But then she, <laughs> well, <laughs> now that you mention it, it does look kind of funny to see those beans dripping down. So she started laughing too. So before you knew it, everybody was cracking up, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> it was so funny. Now, it was still a little beans left in the pot. It was just enough for one bowl for Anansi, one bowl for Grandma, and one bowl for his wife. So what do you think they did with those bowls? All three of them stirred the beans, then they smelled their beans, then they tasted those beans, and all three of them said, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. They said, these beans are good, good, real good. And they all enjoyed the beans and had a wonderful party. And if you ever see a spider now, you will notice that he has a little ball spot. Well, that is from the time that Anansi had the hot beans on top of his head. <laughs> Did you like that story? That was a fun story to tell. Miss Vicki wants you to remember every time you have some beans, I want you to remember the bean chicken dance, the bean chicken dance, Okay, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye now.